Hi, I'm Barry Cooperman. I'm a Chair of the Department of Ophthalmology and Director of the Gavin Herbert Eye Institute at the University of California, Irvine. I'm a retina specialist by trade. Well, it's an interesting compound, an interesting science behind it as well. It's from a small company called Allegro, and uh, there's a lot of science behind it, these RGD peptides that are a different mechanism of action from, uh, from VEGF inhibition. So that's what's really needed, and the companies are exploring that now, looking at the various options of what can be done. This is one that works both upstream and downstream from VEGF. Again, these integrins are very interesting compounds. They have an alpha unit and a beta subunit, and depending on how they're paired up, it has different impacts. But this one has this very clear effect on permeability and neovascularization. So we're very excited about its possibility. We have some data from diabetic macroedema that I presented today, and there's some evidence also from neovascular age-related macular generation. There's still more testing to be done, but we're hopeful that this will work uh, in, a very in a very different setting from uh, the anti-VEGF arena so that it could be used as a separate perhaps supplemental um, or alternative pathway for those that have failed anti-VEGF therapy. Well, actually, interestingly, it does not work synergistically. Uh, as, as the study I presented earlier today showed, interestingly, we had hoped that it would be synergistic because it has such a different mechanism of action. But there were three groups in the phase 2B uh, stage 2 study that I presented, uh, the um, Del Mar study. Uh, and one group got Avastin alone on a monthly basis, one group got combination therapy, and the other one got Avastin, a single injection to clear the VEGF from the retina, and then three monthly Luminate, as the compound is called, injections. And that group did just as well as the monthly Avastin injections, but those that worked in combination, those that were treated in com with combination therapy actually had slightly worse outcomes and were still investigating as to why that could happen. But we do think it's possible to use it in a combination effect by using a, a sort of sequential therapy, as we call it, pre-treatment with Avastin to clear all the VEGF out from the retina, and then the subsequent Luminate injections will stop any further uh, VEGF production from happening, and we'll get a very nice effect that way. That's what we're seeing to date. Well, neovascular is a complicated thing. Diabetic macular edema is our strongest evidence so far, again, from the Del Mar study. And there we showed uh, clear-cut uh, comparability to Avastin for an classic anti-VEGF therapy for treating diabetic macular edema. There, is some, uh, there was some earlier work done in a very limited number of patients with neovascular age-related macular generation. And there, similarly, we saw a subset of patients that had a very dramatic effect from there but most of the work has been done more in vascular permeability rather than angiogenesis. But both, there are, there are clinical patient signs that have been seen in patients of benefit in both groups of patients.